Hey folks, welcome to Comic Blender. This is issue number 16, I believe. And uh, I'm Bob. Hey, my name's Matt, new to the group. You know, uh, with the Christmas season, a lot of people's pretty busy. Dave got a little tied up tonight, couldn't make the show, so me and Matt decided to jump in here and, and make it happen for you all this week. I hope you got me something good, man, for Christmas, that's all I gotta say. Uh, yeah, you know, I think there's some good presents out there. I've seen some good stuff come in this week. As a matter of fact, uh, why don't you tell me, Matt, what's your first pick of the week? First pick of the week, Batman Confidential. Lately, they're coming out with the Wonder Woman Confidential. Uh, they have a Superman right now, and right now... This one's the best one. Out of it's better than Superman, I'd have to say. And this is coming from a guy that's a Superman fan. This is yes. this is his hero. Superman is great, but I gotta take my hat off to Batman this time. Um, Porto Cio does some really good art. I'm telling you this right now. Um, I didn't really like Superman Confidential because it's old school art, right, and I'm right. I'm kind of into the new art. And this one, great shading, great pencil. Batman is back. He's tough. And um, you see another side of Bruce that you don't see in the new Batman comics. You see him go to Wayne Tech, where Wayne Aerospace actually, and um, he's trying to come up with a new line of equipment against Lex Luthor. Right. Lex Luthor and him are battling for um, see who gets the rights for this um, uh, military advanced weapons. And, right, um, right, right. It's not just about that. You see, you know, Batman. You get some butt, obviously. This one guy gets it coming. <laughs> you have to check it out. And um, you know, I, I've had some uh, customers tell me uh, over the past few years uh, that they would like to see a little bit more of Bruce Wayne, uh, a little bit more of the background. So th we're getting a little more of that in this uh, title. Yes, you see Wayne Tech. You see him busting some butt, and um, so it's good to see that he has a heart about his family, and that you see that too. Cool. Cool. What about you, man? Uh, you know I'm not really a big DC guy, but I decided to go ahead and jump on the Justice Society of America number one. Now the reason why I picked this up, Matt, was uh, I, I seen it on the shelf, mm -hmm. I looked at the artwork, and it grabbed me. Now uh, Jeff Johns is doing the writing, and we have uh, Dale Eaglesham and Art Thiebert doing the artwork on this title. Um, what are they doing? Is it Are they getting a new JSA, or well, same one? Well, I have to tell you, I don't know anything about the Justice Society of America. Uh, I know some of the characters. I can look at the cover and tell you I know who these are. Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, I know most of them from Hero Clicks, to tell you the truth. Yeah. Uh, so, unfortunately, I'm not a big Justice Society of America fan. Uh, but the reason why I thought it was kicking was the entire book was just action. From the first oh. page to the last page, it's a non-stop action story. A lot of battling, a lot of interesting things going on with the characters. Gives you a little bit of insight, and it really ends on a cliffhanger, which also was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, one other thing that I thought was really interesting about this book was on the last page, they had one that was titled, uh, Things to Look Forward in the Upcoming Year for Just Society of America. And there was four panels. Each one of these panels indicated um, something that was going to happen on later a on. A cliffhanger on each. It yes. seemed like major yes. characters, Batman, yeah, there Superman. Was, there was a Batman segment, and there was one where they were just showing this person's arm. Uh, again, if I knew more about them, I would probably be able to tell you whose arm that was, but I don't, so it's like, hey, what's going on there? But then I also saw uh, a Superman picture that looked like it was done by Alex Ross. Yeah, it was nice. So, uh, again, hey, maybe some Alex Ross action in the future for the JSA. Uh, it was a great read, great story, great art. How can you pass this book up? Matt, number two. Oh, man. Gotta, gotta give it out to my boy Dave. <laughs> like, some feelings is it's the Christmas right, Christmas right. air or something, or that new air, air freshener that you put in the shop. I don't know yet. It's, it's the time of giving. Uncanny X-Men, guys. Great. Look, as you see, front cover, Xavier with all this mechanical stuff on him. Mm -hmm. The Shi'ar is... Torching them pretty bad. And what's they're, up with they're, that? They're, huh? they're paying back. They're paying back right now because Charles, all the, in the previous comics back in the day, Xavier's gone underneath their toes. You know, it's just it's not not a very cool guy. And so what they're doing is, I don't know if you know, Xavier doesn't have his powers right now. Oh yeah. Because of um, House of M. And um, they're torching him, thinking he has his powers. Right. They're gonna suck out all the powers that he has, kill him, pretty much. And it's pretty cool to see Xavier finally get his butt kicked, because you never see Xavier ever get his butt kicked. Right, right, right. And um, we got a little romance going on right now. We got Rachel, Rachel Gray, and Corvax. That's the dude with the big blade and the big afro. 
<laughs> and um, it's pretty cool to see, you know, a little little romance comic right, and um, right. Uncanny X Men and you know I I haven't been reading uh, X Men in quite a while. Uh -huh. um, you told me something about some other character in there that was pretty cool. Darwin, you're totally right. Darwin is the hottest new character out right now. I'd have to say. But what Darwin does, he, it's just words can't like describe this guy. He's just he adapts, man. He adapts to whatever's happening. You throw him out to space, he um can breathe in space. Cool. You cool. throw him down a 200 foot cliff. Turns into Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Elastic. Wants to have super strength, he can have it. He adapts. He's Darwin, man. I suggest anybody that wants to see a new hero, we see the same heroes over and over again, and it's kind of hard to sure, sure. come out with a new one. Right, right. Darwin is kicking some butt. Cool. And you have to get it, I'm telling you. Right. What about you, man? Uh, well, you know what? The one that I just had to pick up, of course, yeah. was uh, Walking Dead number oh, it was 33. Good. Now, this is written by Robert Kirkman, and uh, Mr. Adlar is doing some of the artwork in here. Uh, Walking Dead, it came out two weeks ago, and uh, just to give you a little background, uh, the governor uh, had captured all of them. Voted. He was voted he, number he, one. He was voted the number one villain in the wizard for the year. Okay, so year. this guy is, is bad. really bad news. Well... The governor was torturing this one chick the, for several issues, mm -hmm. and uh, finally they escaped, but the chick was like, hey, you know what? I've got to go back and visit this guy and give him a little payback. And let me tell you, this issue is 100% payback. Hmm. Uh, there's, there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's only one point of this entire comic, and that's to, to have a little payback with the payback, governor. Yeah. It's, the guy deserves it, man. This guy is... <laughs> This guy has a kid, his little baby girl's a zombie, and he still takes care of it like a human being. It's disgusting. <laughs> you know what? It has to take a lot to become voted number one. Yeah. Okay. And this is from a title that I have to say a lot of people probably don't know much about. And to t pick this title and to pick that villain, Wizard really stepped out there. And again, this book is totally insane. Uh, if you want a book that's just going to blow your mind, The Walking Dead, you cannot miss this title. It's just insane just huh. insane i i've never seen so much torture and and stuff and in, in a comic before i can't believe some of the things they even even, showed in there it's not even a max title it's image <laughs> Get so, it. Get so it. anyways as you know uh, uh also matt uh i like to go ahead and throw out some honorable mentions and uh i've seen some other things that had come out uh it, it was a double dose of kirkman this week we also yes. got robert kirkman's invincible that guy is awesome man. invincible number 37 uh, if you're not on the Kirkman bandwagon, you're, you're really missing out. You're missing he's, out. He's got some great stuff. Invincible, if you don't know it, is basically a, a story about a young man that uh, inherits some of his powers from his dad, mm -hmm. uh, and then he's got to learn to deal with it. And uh, But right now, it's, he's already found his identity, right? Oh, absolutely. And he's kicking some butt. Another action pack? What, what does it say on the front? Probably the best superhero comic book in the universe. That's how they, uh, they title it. So again, you need to check out Invincible. And I also picked up Jonah Hex number 14, which uh, is still talking about his origin, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. So we get a little bit more of the background on, on Jonah Hex. He's up to issue 14. He's been coming out every month for over a year. His entire series has been awesome. Uh, it's good to see a well-written Western. And I, I know some people, when they see Western, they just want to shy away from it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's so well-written. Uh, the artwork's interesting. Who does and, artwork? Well, this, we got Palomo. You know what? I can't even say that. How do you say Palomati? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty I, close. I, I guess that's how you would say it. And Gray, you know what? As you've learned from previous episodes, I, I just can't pronounce names. <laughs> hey, so I, tr I try to stay away from that. You and I, Bob. You and I. I try to stay away from that. But uh, again... Just a great, it's just a great read, something that you might want to pick up. And Matt, from what I understand, you you got a, an honorable mention too? I got a lot. Yeah, the honorable mention is kind of pushing this way too. <laughs> I have to pick one. Um, it's a, it's, Wizard comes out monthly and they did a special collector's edition. And I'm picking this because if you're a comic book guy, you want to see movies, right? You want to see <laughs> the comics turn into motion pictures. And this is all about the upcoming movies. Cool. They got a flash grip finally out. 30 pages of Spider-Man 3. 